it's just impossible. No one's going to want to come up here unless they're either experienced or stupid. It's about 2.45 a.m. We've got to head off on a six-hour hike to a very remote village. A hiker posted on a group to say, please, there's a dog up there, desperately needs help, can anyone help? And of course I said, yeah, we'll, we'll be happy to go and have a look. It's really, in the middle of nowhere, there's no, there's no way you can drive up there. It's, it's not normally something to try and do in a day. Bloody hell. Are you videoing me? Yeah. We've only gone 10 steps. <laughs> there was no preparation. He's an expert. For him, it was a walk in the park. For me, it was like the most typical thing I've done in my life. But I honestly thought I was going to let the whole thing down. We didn't actually know what condition the dog was going to be in at the time. My biggest concern was that he wouldn't be there. And the thought of having to come back down without him yeah. would have been pretty dev devastating. So it's about 6.15 a.m. And we're on the easier stretch now. We're just praying that the dog's going to be there. Are we there yet? <laughs> 20 minutes. We eventually came to the, the guest house where the dog should have been. It'll be over here. It would be here. Oh. It's not. It's not. Oh, there he is. There he is. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello, oh, puppy, puppy, puppy. Hello, pups. Hi. Oh, mate, you've got a few little problems going on, haven't you? Hello. Just going to put this over your head because we're on your side. He just came out and put his head on my lap. That's really rare, even for a friendly dog. He just was weak in pain. You know what, man? Oh, mate, I'm so sorry. But we can turn you into a happy dog. We both just had exactly the same thought doesn't matter, whatever concerns we had, we gotta get this dog back down ASAP. Oh look, he just wants to hug me. He was letting us clean off his, his wound and bandage it up. We both felt like he kind of knew, he knew that we were there to help him. Get his tail in. Get in. Oh good. Just gotta go down. There you go. Take a seat. Now the only concern was, is he gonna stay in the backpack? How's he doing? Wow. Yeah, he's totally calm. When we started hiking uh, back along the trail, this dog has to get adopted. He's oh, he's awesome. He's a perfect dog. Look at him. Sandy was as good as gold. The whole journey, it was just unbelievable how how good he was. Hello, mate. You were very good. We got to the bottom and we took Sandy home. Happy? Are you happy? After about four or five days, he wanted to actually walk around a little bit. Uh, you're amazing. Come on. Yeah, he wanted to live, that little guy. Someone just needs to adopt you now. I got a message, a guy called Bob. I just saw your rescue on Facebook. I'd like to invite you to my restaurant to come and have a meal on, on me. He went there, he wanted to know all about the Sandy rescue. So bring Sandy over. We'll, we'll, we'll foster him for a while. And within days, we got the message, we are in love with Sandy. He's a perfect dog. We'd like to adopt him. Oh, he's, a, he's such a good boy. This was just the perfect, perfect end to the story, really.